Also, it's the first night, so allow me. Uh, by the way, uh, I would like to put out a warning for anyone who might uh, be a little wary when it comes to like paranormal ghosts and spooky possession type of things. You might want to skip like three minutes. Like, go take a break or something. Uh, go get a snack. Go to the bathroom. This is your official trigger warning. Yeah, for this is spooky, we scary skeletons. Paranormal before. I know, oh. but I, I, I should have given a warning last time. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's the nice thing to do. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about. Uh, we've talked about shadow demons before. I'm actually going to have to clip that episode. <laughs> uh, but. I had a pretty frightening experience uh, over the last week, and I'd like to share it with you guys. So, uh, over the last week, I have had some uh, some interesting dreams, I'll say, and one of them, yeah, there's been a lot of death, a lot of, like, thinking back about old times, and it's just out of nowhere, um, I, I heard this female voice from, like, because uh, I sleep on my side, facing what, my in, like, in your closet. Room? Yeah, I heard a female uh, voice, and that's... ooh, that is. Spooky. And she said, "It was like a raspy, like finally, one of those." Uh... And I, my eyes shot open, and I couldn't move, and I felt pressure around my throat, like someone had me in a reverse choke, and uh, my whole. This? My whole body was paralyzed. I couldn't move. And I was just suffocating for about a minute. Where I, I couldn't breathe. And when I could finally start moving again, I reached my arm up under my throat to try and loosen the grip. And I felt something covering my throat. It was like an arm. That's and crazy. the only thing I could do, I don't know why, I'm like, I have to go back to sleep. So I closed my eyes and I fell back asleep and I woke up again. And everything was fine. Jesus, man. I don't know why I'm like, I just have to go back to sleep. How long ago was this? Uh, a couple days ago. Ooh, was I home? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I just remember Eric uh, shooting me the message of like, hey, in case I forget, make sure you let me know to talk about this. But I don't know if it was like, man, I got to go to sleep or if I actually just got choked out. Now, thinking about things, I like to think about things from a logical perspective. I sure. usually fall asleep with YouTube on. So yeah. perhaps a video was playing where there was a female voice. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Maybe yeah, I got tangled. I, I sleep under the covers. Maybe I got tangled up in my sleep. And maybe the cover was just around my throat. Uh, my enough. laptop was closed. And my covers were off. <laughs> but right. it could have happened. And maybe when I went back to sleep, I just kicked them off. And closed my laptop. I have been known to like turn off alarms and stuff without realizing I've done it. So the only explanation that, that, I can come happens. up with. <sighs> Welcome back, Tree Man. Welcome what back. Hopefully, uh, you you weren't the the trigger. Uh, war, you were you, <laughs> you you took the warn in there and went to go get a snack. But uh, uh. yeah, that is my story for the night. And man, was that a frightening experience. But are you sticking to it? Uh, yes, absolutely. It's not my first encounter with this type of thing, but it's my first time actually getting choked <laughs> so yeah i have never experienced uh i will say a paranormal event that viscerally uh i think ever i it's just not a thing that i've ever uh, oh hey i, have a I mean i wouldn't idea. wish it on you uh it's it's yeah it was pretty frightening i can't imagine that experience I haven't had anything like that. Yeah, I mean, normally you just, like, see things out of the corner of your eye or see shadows shifting. I have I was actually yeah. unable to breathe. <laughs> it was... Like, I'm laughing about it now. I actually was dreading going to sleep this morning because I knew I was going to talk about this. I'm like, I hope it doesn't happen again. I hope... Because I'm At sleeping least... in the exact same position. 
to like, be fair, at least when it happened, it was, uh, like, it was during the day. Um, like oh, yeah, it wasn't I sleep, super I sleep dark during outside. the day. Yeah. yeah, but, like, can you imagine if that had happened and it was pitch dark night outside? Well, the, I think yeah. the worst thing was I was able to see everything around me. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, God, like, if it would have been a lot easier to go back to sleep, I think, if... Did we? Oh, we're at 33 out of 100. Oh, boy.